Mellow greetings, Tubians. Ronan T here, and we are playing Harvest Moon One World. I am honestly beginning to believe that this playthrough is cursed. First, my Switch ate all my game related data, so I had to run through and replay everything back up to where we were. Uh, as a result of which, you'll probably notice some minor changes. Uh, there are some requests that haven't spawned yet. Speaking of, Gabriel needs lettuce. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've got a few quests that haven't spawned yet. We have still managed to open up the animal dealership. Um, and we did decide to buy a chicken. Because, you know, chicken. Um, but... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's a little different. And then tonight, while I was rendering the recording for this episode, my computer decided to reboot, which killed it. So now we're re-recording. Re Yay! <sighs> so, going onwards, the new... Sorry, distracted by fertilizing, because we now have fertilizer, which is fantastic. Um, but the new schedule is going to be One World will be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And we'll be starting a new run of Pioneers of Olive Town. And that will be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Um, and I'll be taking Sundays off. So, let's get these crops tended to and then we'll go introduce everybody to the newest member of Squishy Farm. And that would be Madam Cluck, which is what I always call my first chicken. Uh, named for the fantastical character in Robin Hood's, uh, sorry, Disney's Robin Hood. Um, where Madame Cluck was made Marion's handmaiden, and she was awesome. Now we're growing some flowers for the awkward guy. That sprite just woke up. Oh, there's another difference. We haven't managed to trigger the request from Doc. Um, to go see our mum, so we haven't gotten our bag upgrade. But everybody say hello to Madam Cluck. She's a couple of days old now, so hopefully she'll mature soon. And she's adorable. Right now all she does is chirp and eat, so. Alright, let's grab some seeds. Some stuff away. I'll have to make some more chicken food. Alright, actually while we're here, let's check what requests we do have. Alright, so we've got to get the wood to build the bridge. Uh, two romaine lettuce, two yellow marguerites, and two white eggplants. Now, a lot of that we are already growing, which is very, very handy. And in the meantime, let's grow some more grass. And I had a few spots up. Um, I did also manage to locate the sprite for the dome lettuce. Dome cabbage? Dome cabbage. The really expensive stuff. Now I should already be glowing, growing, glowing, glowing. Yes, I'm glowing. Uh, hmm. The problem is trying to predict what everyone's going to ask for. You prefer beach. Let's grow some more sweet potatoes. Fine, we'll grow the carrot. 
been trying so hard to avoid that. Uh, over the last few days, particularly since Story of Seasons released, a lot, a lot of people have started to put out their reviews of this game. And none of them are positive. And that really upsets me. And it's like no one's willing to give this game a chance. They all expect it to be bad because it's the Natsume game, not the Story of Seasons game. And so that automatically means it's gonna suck. I do not ascribe to this theory. I'm actually having a great deal of fun here. When my save file isn't being eaten by my Switch. Thank you, Switchy. I just really wish everyone would give it a chance. I don't think I've managed to see or hear a single positive review. I would say to you, if you're watching this and you haven't picked it up, maybe wait till it's on special if you're unsure of it, but give it a go, yes. Some of the mechanics are a bit simple. It is basically press A to do everything. But that's not inherently bad in and of its own accord. Let's put those seeds away. Alright, let's go do some exploring. Uh, it, it's, it is what you make of it. If you come in here going, oh, it's all flat and lifeless and it's got no soul, then it's going to be flat and lifeless and have no soul. It's a Harvest Moon game. You've got to bring your own story. And honestly, you've got to bring your own story in Story of Seasons. You've got to bring your own story in Stardew Valley. Hey, Elijah. I'm kicking up my tooties. That's the fun of these games, is you bring yourself into it. And anybody who says differently is trying to sell you something else. Not that I'm trying to sell you this game. I wouldn't do that. She grins cheekily. Alright, and because we're playing a bit of catch up and trying to find those quests that were and now aren't, I'm a little bit lost, Ola, in that I've lost some of the uh, plans that I had. Thanks, Brayden. Ah, here we go. I want to hold a horse racing event to help spread the word about Callison. We have these huge, expansive grasslands, so we're able to raise lots of healthy animals on our farms and ranches. We won't just be riding horses, either. There'll be all kinds of chances to show off other animals, too. Yay! So what do you say? Feel like helping me out? I think I'd probably be able to set up if I had me ten oak lumber. Well, it looks like we're spending today chopping down some trees. Thanks, I'm counting on ya. Excellent. We finally caught that quest back up. Yay! Let's go kill some trees. Hey, random dude. Friendly man. Yes, I know where Gabrielle lives. Grass, we need more grass. Oh, that's where the orange peppers were. I've been so focused on the uh, the dome cabbages that I've forgotten where some of the other spawns are. Um, each wisp does spawn in the same location, but not always at the same time or on the same day. And that when they do spawn, they do always give you the same seedling, so or seed. So if you can remember where they're spawning, you've got a a solid reset. You just need to work out the date and time. Hey little dude. 
Sweet potatoes. Steal me some apples. I really am wondering if these single squares are worth making use of. And we do have that patch of nine down by the river. Should probably look at those. And I think there's someone up here somewhere. Your red bell pepper. Yep. So there's somebody else who spawns along this path. And by somebody I mean a wisp. Um, who does purple marguerites. Which will be useful I'm sure. Let's kill some trees. So it's four strikes to completely take down an oak tree. I think it's five, six to do a palm tree. And we do also now have the journey to the east DLC pack, which adds on a whole new area and new folk and new marriage candidates. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to working out where that is. Hello, potato. Still got two slots. Need to kill two more trees. Hopefully now we've got that, we'll re-trigger getting the bag. Which would be very, very handy at this point. Oh, I'm getting tired. Let's just go home for now. Put everything away. Ah, I hate it when I do that. And sorry for the racing car out the back. Alright, let's get some sleep. And we made no money. That's kind of sad. Nope, still no call from Doc. Maybe if I just go see... Oh, yes, it's raining. Fantastic. Everybody's looking pretty happy. So we did work out those purple lines are crops not being happy. And if crops aren't happy, they won't complete their full cycle for the ones that um, repeat. And if you throw some fertilizers on them, they get happy again. Alright, there are the two yellow marguerites I need. Oh, and it looks like we've got a respawn on our forageables. Hey, Madam Gluck. When will you mature? I want eggs. Also, poop more. I need the fertilizer. Alright, let's put stuff in the fridge. Keep one apple out. Ah, uh, I may as well get the stuff for Brayden.
Oh, and it's his birthday soon too. I have to find him something nice for that. CD seeds. Yeah, we did, Elijah. Hey, Brayden. We bought you the stuff you needed. Thanks for collecting that stuff I asked for. Now we're all set. Would you help spread the word so people will come sign up? I'd love it if people from all over would come down and join in. After all, you can't have a horse race without an audience to watch it, can ya? I was thinking I'd like to compete too. It's a good opportunity to show off the animals I raise on my farm. Me too, me too! You gonna join in too, Imogen? Oh shoot, I didn't even explain how it works yet, did I? To win, you need to pass through the designated checkpoints and cross the finish line first. It's held on both the 5th of spring and fall. Samantha will accept entries until 10am on the day of the race. And although we're calling it the Equestrian Challenge, it's okay to enter with animals that ain't horses. I mean, I'm pretty sure Callison's horses are the fastest animal, but you never know. But if you don't have an animal to ride, you can't compete in a race. Well, that makes sense. Can I ride a sprite? No? Okay. Alright. So that's a new unlock and I think our first festival. Hello Mr. Dome Cabbage. That's money in the bank, that is. Alright, let's go take the dude some flowers. We're basically waiting on stuff to grow at this point, so we might just go poke around and see what else is out there. Sweet corn is what's out there. It's really sad that I'm starting to memorize some of these wisps, isn't it? Yes, I read your request. Thank you for iced tomato seeds. Oh, it's raining over here. I don't think I've ever seen it rain on the side of the bridge. No coconuts. Celery seeds. There should be a sunflower. No forage. Okay. If it weren't for the fact that I know that someone at some time is going to request that I grow them carrots, I wouldn't bother. One of my top two most hated vegetables. The other one is capsicum, which I think is actually a fruit. Oh no, my bag is full. I missed out on... What were you? Hibiscus? Well, there goes the exploration. Let's go home and drop some stuff off. Stupid not getting back upgrade yet. So if for whatever reason you do find yourself needing to reset, be advised. Quests don't always spawn in the same order. Sometimes they don't spawn at all. 
Maybe I haven't been to see Doc enough. Maybe that's the problem. No, I don't think I'd visited Doc at all. Hey, you two. Let's put stuff away. My bag's not full. Oh, yes, it is. Because this won't show me the stuff that goes in the fridge. There we go. Now my bag's not full. Is on his way home, so it must be getting late. I have been noticing a touch more lag since the DLC update dropped. Maybe I just didn't reinstall things right. Let's come down here. Because I think there's... Yeah, a couple of sprites. White night seeds. Oh, it looks like that guy's not going to spawn. There he is. Seeds. All right, well, I've got some energy. Let's stock up three, four, five, seven. Eight strikes to take down a palm tree. Those things are stubborn. Right. Still got some space. Might take down another palm. Then I think I'm going to call it and pray to God everything works this time because I am really, really tired of re-recording this episode. Three. I'm not sure how I actually feel about cutting down the palm trees. And the oak's one thing. But the palm trees all spawn coconuts, so I'm actually giving up on some forage to do that. And I wonder where I find ginkgo. Please feel free to comment down below if you know where ginkgo grows. Because I need four pieces of that to fix a bridge, so... Please let Doc call in the morning. I need my new bag. I miss my bag. Let's put everything away. Yeah, we'll call it there. I am once again very sorry for the delays. But unfortunately, uh, some minor technical issues, which hopefully won't repeat. Touch wood. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow for our first episode of Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. Have a great rest of day slash evening, wherever you may be in the world. Ronan to you, out. <laughs>